more than you gave to my men. Next time I won't miss. We meet our first antagonist of the season in Admiral Ruskov and he makes some hefty demands that don't go down too well with Captain Chandler. Welcome to the top five moments from the episode followed by the overall verdict. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Konstantin Nikolaevich Ruskov, a former Vice Admiral of the Red Banner Northern Fleet of the Russian Federation. We kick off the episode right where the last one ended, as we're introduced to the first antagonist of the season formally, Russian Admiral Ruskov. You have the primordial strain of the virus that is killing the world. You will hand it over to me along with Dr. Rachel Scott and all of her research. I was worried that the humidity in the eye. Quincy, what are you doing? I need you to come with me now. After Quincy kidnaps Rachel and attempts to take her off the ship, he faces a standoff with the crew. He's holding the virus and threatens to kill everyone on board, but could Rachel talk some sense into him? You're not going to kill all these people. It's not who you are. Firing a nuclear weapon at France, how many people you think you killed? 10 million? France was already dead. That missile was meant to stop you. Captain Chandler and Admiral Ruskov meet face to face to discuss terms peacefully. After Chandler declines to give Ruskov everything he demands, he offers a counter proposal. But Ruskov was not too pleased. You can wonder how I'm going to feed my men when the Americans have all the food on the island. One mouth less to feed. I will sink you. This is an Arleigh Burke destroyer. It was built to fight you better know how. Hostilities rise as the Russians attack and kill a US stealth team. Taking none of this hostile action anymore, Chandler orders the Russians to stand down or face the firepower that is coming their way. Two. One. What do you want? Shut your weapons down. Back out of the harbor and over the horizon. I don't want to see your ugly ass ship out of my front window. Prepare to go MCON Alpha 1. All radar and radio transmissions go down on my count. The escape from the harbour was planned, but it required specific timing that they had to get right. At the time Green and Foster were supposed to surprise attack the Russians was the exact time that the USS Nathan James was to fire a hole in the coral so that they could escape via the narrow canal. Did the ship make it through unscathed? Fire torpedoes! Initial report. No apparent hull damage. My overall verdict for the third episode of The Last Ship is a 7 out of 10. It was another very good episode for TNT's new series. The whole episode itself concentrated on the new antagonist, Admiral Ruskov. We got some backstory to the character, that he's the former Russian Vice Admiral, and that he's a military genius in naval warfare. After his formal introduction, he gives Chandler his demands. He wants Dr. Scott and the primordial strain of the virus for himself. Then the US ship can go free. This, of course, didn't sit down too well with the captain. So why don't I lead with my best offer? A sample of the primordial virus. With my compliments. Under the threat of the nuclear warhead, 
Chandler and Mike devise a plan to escape the clutches of the Russians, but it's not a simple one. They need to manoeuvre their huge ship destroyer through a very narrow canal, at high tide, in the middle of the night, and with no radar. And that's whilst causing a distraction so that Ruskov doesn't notice. So, a very elaborate plan indeed. After pulling off the escape, and coming through the coral with a lot of rough scratches, they cripple the Russian warship, as the USS Nathan James heads for the open sea. I'm intrigued to see where next week's episode will go. Is Ruskov going to be a regular face that appears in every episode in the season? Or what I think is more likely is that he's going to be a face which will appear from time to time, sort of a long-running antagonist. I mean, his ship has hull damage, they were taking on water, and they lost 12 crew in that attack. So it makes sense that he's going to be out of action for at least a couple of weeks. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the review. And I'll see you next week. Don't be foolish, Captain. You cannot win.